You're taking a lot of responsibility in owning and riding a bicycle. You are now an operator of a wheeled vehicle. So you should check your bike to see that everything is in good condition. If you don't know how to check your bike, get a bike mechanic to help you. I was doing a school project when I was in college where I studied a new project at the time called Decatur Yellow Bikes. It changed my whole perspective on life and then several years later and several bike job experiences later, um, this happened. <laughs> We are a community bike shop where you can, if your bike is making a funny noise, got a flat, you know, don't you know, have necessarily have the money to take it to a shop and get a full tune-up, you can just come here, we'll help you work on it, but you know, you're going to do the work yourself. Jay and I have been good friends for a long time and talked about, well, what if we had a shared set of tools and a place where it, it all stayed and uh, we helped each other and people got excited about it and uh, started shouting about all the different community service. Um, possibilities of enacting our wacky idea of sharing a couple of bike tools and here we are. Be sure the foot pedals are in good condition and oil them occasionally. Our focus is on educating people, sharing skills, and maintaining a neutral community space. We got our spot here because the community wanted a project like ours um, before we even approached them. And so when we did, the answer was, yes, let me show you the space. They already had the space waiting for us, pretty much. The handlebar and hand grips should occasionally be checked for tightness. If it is loose, tighten it by using a wrench on the adjustment lug. This place is really special because everybody really comes here. We've got little kids, 10-year-olds <laughs> coming. Um, we've got elder folks. College students and just your general bike commuters. They come from all ages and sizes and shapes. Um, I've, helped, um, I've helped young kids and older older people um, and all those in between. It could be that they have a broken piece on their bicycle or they need help adjusting either brakes or shifting cables or some of the frequent uh, adjustments that we need to make. But keeping your bike in top condition is only the beginning. Cars, trucks, buses and bicycles all are vehicles. All must obey the traffic laws. I think there's just a huge lack of you know, education out there and knowledge of, you know, the rules of the road for bikes and cars and people just don't understand that if they're making a right turn across the bike lane, they they have to yield to a bike. We like freedom and mobility, but we have to get along together. All the motors need to recognize that cyclists are vehicles and that will happen both with education but also just with more cyclists being on the road. And I don't think we've, we've really reached the number of cyclists that we need. People wonder, well, why would you do this for free? It seems really thankless and it's totally not. Um, so of all the volunteer experiences I've had, um, why would we keep doing this one? It feels really good and um, makes people happy right away.